Welcome back to the Big Sports Breakfast on Sky Sports Radio. On the phone now, Steve Georgialis. Good morning, Steve. Oh, hi, Jamie. How are you? Very well. I'm not as good as what you would be, though. Congratulations <laughs> on a fantastic win over the nights yesterday. Yeah, it was, um, yeah, it was awesome to get that feeling again of, of winning, um, especially in those conditions. It was wild. Yeah, well done, Georgie. I mean, you know, you've taken over in you know circumstances that you didn't want to, but you know, you, you can see with the Bulldogs uh, this this season, they've always you know been competitive, but they've just lacked that polish. And in the in the last couple of weeks, it looks like you know the Bulldogs, the skill level, the excitement, it's back, and and they're playing some really good football. And and even in yesterday's conditions, I think at one stage there you were twenty eight from twenty nine sets, so you played the wet weather conditions well. Yeah, we um we had a game plan to um, play the night a certain way, and then when the rain came down, we just adjusted it. Uh, you know, a bit more play up the middle of the park, uh, early kicks, and a lot of drop play. Um, you know, and and try and hold the ball because we knew that if we could hold the ball, um, we had enough football in there to score some tries. Mm. Well, what's that win done for the morale of the team? Because obviously, it would have been tough. Um... You know, and it would have been tough last weekend, losing right on the on the siren. Um, you know, you know, you've tried hard this season. You know, wins weren't coming, and morale could have been down. But how have you gone about trying to lift their spirits, keep them motivated, and finally, you know, you, you got a result? Yeah, I think sometimes we try and complicate our game. Um, you know, with fancy plays and all that sort of stuff, and. Well, all we've done is gone back to basics um, and then obviously use that play, you know, that that play to try and get a quick play ball and then play numbers, look up and play a bit of footy. And I think that's what you've seen in the last two two weeks, us looking up and playing a little bit of footy. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've got some good players there that probably haven't shown their skill level in, in the beginning of the year, but now that they're able to play a bit of foot, football, you know, they, they're showing their skill and... We've made training a little bit more fun, you know, a few more games. Uh, and I suppose us living in this COVID-19 bubble, um, I suppose we're always, always in each other's pockets. And I think we talk more footy at, uh, at training, which is healthy. Steve, can I ask, uh, is the head coach role something that you aspire to, to doing one day? And, and in saying that, have you been frustrated that the Bulldogs didn't give you that opportunity? Oh, look. Every coach aspires to be a head coach, you know, and I've done it in the lower grades. And mm. It's quite enjoyable, you know, working with your staff, preparing your team, um, you know, and playing well and, and getting a win, all that hard work that you put in during the week. So, yeah, of, of course I aspire to be a head coach, but like everything, um, you have to be in the right place at the right time. And, and, and you know, it's, 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 it's hard um, when the opportunity arises. Sometimes... It's not there for you to take. So obviously my opportunity arose because um, Dean Payne resigned. Um, as Loz said before, circumstances that you don't wish to take over. But, yeah. you know, obviously when he resigned, that you know, the club must have had someone else in mind at the time. So um, it's probably one, one of the reasons why Dean did resign. So but for me, it's just about, again, opportunity. I do have aspirations to be a head coach, but... You know, I do want to stay here. Um, I've built a really good relationship with a lot of players here and I enjoy coaching at this club. Well, you've got a great opportunity between now and the end of the year, Georgie, because, I mean, the last two games, you've played extremely well and, and the Bulldogs uh, could be sitting two from two uh, with you in charge and there's no better a- advertisement um, as a coach than to go out there and win games of football and put your name out there in lights and there's always opportunities. So... Uh, if they continue to win games, then you'll get an opportunity, no doubt about it. But I want to ask you about the Englishman um, that the club has signed, Luke Thompson. I, I think he's been you know, good without being great, but I, I see plenty of potential in him, and I, I think he's going to be a revelation uh, in the NRL. Can you tell us what he's like and how much improvement uh, is to come with Luke Thompson? Oh, I think there's a massive amount of improvement to come with Luke. He's come over and you know, in the, even in the first video review session, um, he was talking about footy and, you know, talking about what he was doing over, obviously, in the English Super League. I think what he's not struggling with, but it's just week in, week out, anyone can beat anyone. Um, so every game and every tackle and every run that you make, it's, 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 
competitive and it's a challenge. And um, I think once he gets all those games under his belt, um, yeah, he, he's going to be a really good player. Mm. I'll tell you, a guy that stood out yesterday, and it's probably the best game he's had for the Bulldogs, and he's a veteran. It was Aidan Tolman. Jeez, I thought he was terrific. Yeah, we um we had a bit of a laugh after the game and we were talking about heavy trackers and, and Tol just said to me after the game, he goes, this is my type of condition. <laughs> they just carry the ball forward, straight up and down. But he's been a warrior though, hasn't he? Oh, you know, the, the, the happiest thing that I think, you could see all the players gather around him after he scored that try. I mean, there's no like, harder worker in our team than Aiden Tolman. You know, there's a... You know, if someone makes a break, he's chasing it. You know, and obviously we made a break and he was there for a try. So, I mean, he deserves it. And, and, the, and the players actually got all around him and I, they were just so happy for him. Mm. Uh, do you still – how do you approach, you know, the, the end, here to the end of the season, Georgie? Do you still try and just do the one game at a time or do you set yourself a target of – you know, nine games left, trying to win six out of the nine. How do you approach it as a coach? Uh, it's definitely one game at a time. So we'll do a review today. And then, um, you know, we had a few beers on the bus on the way home. We enjoyed that. And we'll do a review today. And that, that'll be the end of that game. And then we'll move to the next game, um, Eels on Sunday. So, yeah, it's definitely one game at a time. Um, I don't think you could do it any other way mm. for, for where we're sitting. Well, Steve, congratulations on that win yesterday and good luck against Parramatta on Sunday. Thanks, Jamie.